Hello, this is Jennifer with Women, Love, and Jesus, and today we're on Proverbs 8.31. Rejoicing is in his inhabited world and delighting in the children of men. A good verse to reference this to tell, tell us what it's really talking about is Genesis 1.31, which is God saw everything that he made, and he saw that was very good. And ev evening passed, and morning came marking the sixth day god is telling us that he made us and therefore we are very good not just good just very good this is a verse that just reminds us of the love of god and god doesn't love us because of something we have done god loves us because he made us humans often love us for what we have done and that's where we get confused a lot of times. And we see that we then transfer that to this must be what God is about. But the scriptures, when we look at the scriptures, and this is one of them, there are several others if we look in the Bible. But one of them is God made us and it's very good. It's a good thing. He delights in us. He doesn't love us because of the money we make, the job we do. The parenting that we do, how our kids turn out, how our retirement turns out, what our bodies look like. He loves us because he made us and it was very good and he delights in that itself. He doesn't love us according to what people say about us. He doesn't love us according to how much work was completed that day. We, he doesn't love us according to if the work we've done that day is better than the day before. He just loves us because he made us. Now, if we take that scripture and we apply it to our lives today and what needs to be done today, what difference would it be made if you know that no matter how the day ends, God's going to love you. If it was a bad day today, God loves you. If it was a good day today, God loves you. If you got a lot done, God loves you. If you didn't get a lot done, God loves you. If people are happy with you, God loves you. If people are unhappy with you, God loves you. How then will it affect our spirit and how much praise can we have knowing that we are delightful in the God's eyes? I pray that the scripture today and the Holy Spirit has encouraged you and I thank you for listening.